Sire or highest armor? Let's go Sire. The time to unleash the magic. Okay. Play 12 Quilbo or Dragons. Oh. Look at him. So we always go front right here, right? Because it's gonna generate some dragons. I like the Quilbo in the shop as well, don't get me wrong. But I think um, it's a front rake start. I don't believe you freeze here. You just level and play a bit normally. I don't think you want to stay on one, but you might want to stay on two until you finish the quest. Like, it's weird because you want to finish this quest and you finish it with Quilbor and Dragons. But then you want to play Naga. You will find your way oh my god. Okay, I guess you stay on one. I like this, and then you go Shell Collector up, and then you triple. Playing it like this is gonna make this guy give you a dragon, and then you triple and you get two more dragons. Ready your spells. This is super good. The only better thing that could, we could get is actually a two gold spell so that we don't have to buy the Shell Collector. Shell Collector doesn't progress my quest, unfortunately. Like an SBR would be better here. No cap. Okay, that's overkill. All Too many dragons, okay? I mean, you might have to buy it just because it's a dragon. Yes! If my opponent goes AoE, he's gonna insta-win. <laughs> dragons can also play with end of turn effects. Like, now I kind of wish I would get the dragon guy. Rather than the Lord of Gains. What do you think about that, Chad? Ready your spells. <laughs> this dragon is really good, though. I do so enjoy working alongside you. It's Quillboard Dragon, so Elementals or Naga doesn't help us. But let's see the other quest too. Gilnean Warhorn. Gilnean is really good if you play dragons. So are we not playing for Lord of Gains? Even small forces can fight well. Gem guy, right? It's just a little sand in your eyes. Right now I'm thinking what I want to do and how to get it. I like Battle Cries and I like End of Turn. I don't like that I get Lord of Gains now, because it doesn't seem like a Naga lobby. So maybe you don't need to rush the mask and just finish the mask as a bonus. But then focus on the other quest. But then wasn't Selemental a better buy? I could just finish the quest now, but then we don't have a minion to buff. That was a sight to behold. Sometimes change is necessary. I suppose it's time for some new faces. I think you freeze the chef's choice. Chef's choice is really good. I'm trying to calculate when to finish the quest. Show them your wrath. Finishing on four seems good. And then I guess we can figure out on 4, depending also on what dragons we get, what we want to do. Now 
Magic is the wild card in every battle. We could also just finish this turn. It's one extra dragon finishing this turn. Yes! Nah, the curve is so much better to level. Okay. Quest is done, and we don't have to buy anything. I don't think we have enough money to finish the Gilnean Warhorn as well. Ready your spells. Wow. Okay. This is a lot. Bro. Magic is the wild card in every battle. And now I hope we get really good dragons. The hardest decision this game is not going Lord of Gains. I mean, it was kind of predictable in a way because we played so many dragons, we don't really want to just do a full pivot to Naga. Unless you get second Lord of Gains and then maybe you can get enough stats to do it. But I find that very difficult to do. Actually, if we kept the extra Smolder Wing together with Draki Staff, it would have been a triple. Oh no, it's still a triple because it's Battlecry Sticker twice once we finish the Gilnean. And we finish the Gilnean this turn. Okay. Ooh, only one minion, nice. I was afraid he would have more. Big win here. Super big win. Sufficient forces on your side. Do I just level? No, right? I mean, I'm thinking about it. Sometimes change is necessary. Show them your wrath. If you don't have frozen for that. You just cut the enemy, sorry. I taunted Warpwing because I wanted it to be good. I need Kalego still here. We can play fourth for a bit, but we need Kali. Isn't taunting Warping bad? You can untaunt it later. I wanted some stats on it. It's okay. We have taunts on a lot of minions. Shouldn't have frozen this. That was a brain fart, sorry. Nice. Oh, 
worthy ally. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. We are A fine start. Run is better. Run is better than any bullshit I could be getting. Who knows what secrets will I wanna triple the Smolderer. Otherwise I might have to cut one of them. Okay, we managed to make this work. A little bit awkward. I think I should have leveled earlier in the turn. When I saw it, I didn't get the triple. Yes. I should have realized how much money I have and just go for it. Tomb, thank you for the six months. Sell the Feldrake. I might have to, yeah. Maybe selling the Feldrake is better. Change is necessary. The world hangs in the balance. This feels good, though. Sometimes change is necessary. Who are you calling short? Huh. <sighs> Do you lose your first quest if you change your hero power? Yes. So you don't want to change your hero power. I'm happy that we finally had a Hyrule game. Please let's win it. Let's not lose this one. <laughs> Ah. Imagine, dude, if I lose this one now. Oi, oi, oi. Let's just say I'll be a bit tilted. Just a bit, a tiny bit. I will accept that my opponents played better and uh, deserve to win more. to end on can be okay. Crazy how big it is. Sick. This is how the battle cry turns are supposed to go, Chad. Come on down. Oh, synthesizer maybe was better? Or is economy just good? She sells 
My eyes went on the economy really quickly, but maybe there was an argument for synthesizer too. You play this next turn. Now we chill in. I like getting two small leggers and then just playing each of them individually. I think it leads to a ton of stats. Was it ever worth going fluidity and then buying golden touch and then doing it on Caligos? Yes. Too much money. I think spending that money on battle cries is better. I see you set a good pace. Doom Sage, thank you for the five gifted subs. I just wanted to leave things in a good note. I did not mean to be rude, toxic, or threaten that you will lose viewers if you get too salty. I understand. And thank you for that. Like, now I'm super calm, but I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to explain, guys. Sometimes if I have like a lot of bad games in a row and then I look at chat and it's a lot of bad comments in a row and then I play one more game and then it's another bad game in a row and then I start blaming the meta game and some people tell me to not blame the meta game and then I start blaming myself and some people tell me to not blame myself like my, my brain just goes in overdrive and like I'm like and I think I have like a short circuit or something Whatever you think is Like I want to be calm I want to have a great time streaming and playing I want to Feel at my absolute best as much as I can. That sometimes it's not possible because I'm human. And I don't want to blame the human condition for my anger outbursts. And I agree that earlier in the stream I got a little bit too angry. I don't know, maybe the solution is taking uh, more breaks, more days off. But then people are gonna go like, why are you taking so many days off playing a video game? And to be honest, I like it when I maintain a good schedule with like a lot of streaming. Hmm. The only thing I can do is promise that I'm constantly working on myself. And not only focusing on how to get better at Battlegrounds. And I hope you guys enjoy it, I don't know. But sometimes I'm hoping people also see the human side. Like if I'm having a bad day, if I'm like getting angry and smashing my desk. If I seem a little bit more tired than usual. If I yell a bit more. That you're like, okay. But yeah, if I do that for too long, I understand it if you go watch somebody else. I understand it if um, you're not gonna like the stream or the videos as much. An astounding development. But at the same time, if I'm thinking of all of those, then I'll be more stressed and I'll play worse and I'll do worse videos. So I have to like not think of that and just still do my own thing the best I can. It's weird. It's a skill issue. <laughs> that was skill a issue. To behold, friend. Whatever you think is best. We are nothing without our allies. Yeah, you want to play all of them independently get all the stats. Elementals and Quillbor. I should be good against Elementals and Quillbor, right? God damn it, I hope I'm big enough. If I'm somehow not gonna be big enough, I'll be upset. Okay, I'll promise I'll not rage. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll stay calm even if I lose here. And we can try to evaluate why I lost. You could be a bit more selective about what battle cries you buy. True. I think I should try to buy battle cries that do something. 
At the same time, you could make the case that you should buy every single battle cry. Like, do you think if I would be selective about battle cries, I would end up playing more battle cries or less? Because I'm doing it because I'm afraid I could play less. Yeah, it's a quality versus quantity question. With battle cries triggering three times and double caligos, each battle cry is six six, right? On every single dragon. And I have five dragons, so it's 30-30. You could be infinite here. Hmm. Efficient and effective. Okay, next turn, look. Look, look, look. I mean, I could buy some tech cards, but tech cards aside, I'll try to only buy battle cries that do something. Either a lot of stats or a lot of value like Tempest. Elemental guy, also the Quilbur guy. So see, I'm not gonna buy those. They're not economy. Second warp wing is good, but should I go? Uh, let, let's go patient scout. High likelihood to get a battle cry or money back. Didn't get any. Tempest is good. Yeah, Tempest was great. Money back at least. A fine start. I'm buying those two because they're stats. It's a metric ton of stats. Come on. I like Matador against Elementals. Why not? Did I go infinite? No. Would I play more Battle Cries in another way? I don't know. Hmm. This is gonna be Well, we're winning, so it's fine. Hopefully we get the kill. I don't want another fight against this guy later. Although I think we got him scaling-wise. I don't think he can beat us. I don't think he can outscale us from this position. 6 12 18, 22. And he's a 21. Okay, it's 1v1 us versus Brukan. Uh, Matador is super bad against Brukan. It was a tech specifically for the other guy. What can be good against Brukan is Bramble Leech. Hmm. I'm gonna buy a Bramble tech. I hope I'm not gonna regret it. Maybe it with triple Caligos for space. Only buy Battle Cries that do something. I like Hired Headhunter because it has a very high likelihood of giving you a battle cry that does something. No pirates in the lobby. So we cannot find the... Uh... Ooh, this is bad. We cannot find Gambler is what I wanted to say. Hmm. Apple hand? If opponent still plays Rylak...
Then I want to delay my guy slightly. Victory seems assured. I couldn't play the spell on anything. The spell only works on uh, Naga or Pygots. I couldn't play it on the Bramble even if I wanted to. Wait, did my opponent forget to heal power? Hello? Nice! The game seemed very difficult at some point. But then we found a way to maneuver it into a win. That was great.